Hello everyone, my name is Craig McPhee and I'm a funeral director and embalmer here at Oliver's Funeral Home. Today I'd like to talk to you about embalming, what it is and why we do it. While we're alive, our body systems such as the respiratory and digestive systems work in sync to provide a constant state of balance. Once a person passes away, that balance is disrupted and that's part of why the body starts to decompose. First and foremost, the purpose of embalming is sanitation. The first step to the embalming process is thorough bathing of the body with an antimicrobial, mortuary-specific soap. After the features are set, meaning that the eyes and mouth are disinfected and closed, you then use surgical instruments to make a small incision along the right collarbone to gain access to the right common carotid artery to inject the, chem the preservative chemical and the right internal jugular vein for blood drainage. Now we mix our chemical preservative solution. In most cases, we'll mix two gallons or eight liters of solution, and we make our decisions about what chemicals to use based on a number of factors, such as how long are we gonna have this person in our care, and the complexion of their skin to restore the most natural appearance. Preservative chemicals come in different tint colors for different complexions, different strengths. Some chemicals will remove excess water from the body. Others will help restore moisture in someone who is dehydrated and our machine gives us the ability to adjust our pressure and our rate of flow of the preservative solution. The machine also will inject in a pulsating fashion, mimicking the heartbeat to optimize the flow of solution throughout the body. Once our chemical is mixed, we can now start injecting that chemical into the arterial system by the way of the common carotid artery. Because our circulatory system is a closed system, that chemical will start by flowing through the arteries. Being that there's already six liters of blood in our circulatory system, injecting the chemical will create pressure, which will help to plump up any dehydrated fingertips and lips and help restore a more natural appearance. Typically, once the first gallon of preservative chemical is injected, we then open the right, right internal jugular vein to allow for blood drainage. Throughout the arterial injection process, we are massaging the arms and legs and hands and fingers with the purpose of distributing that chemical throughout the whole body, helping guide that preservative chemical from the main arteries into the smaller branches of those arteries. So that the result is a body that's thoroughly embalmed and preserved. Once our preservative chemical is injected and we see signs of thorough distribution, we then aspirate the abdominal and thoracic cavities to remove any fluids and then inject the cavity-specific embalming chemical to help preserve and sanitize those cavities. In the world of COVID-19, this process is even more important than ever. Thorough aspiration of the lungs and injection of the embalming chemical will help to provide a safe viewing experience as COVID-19 is transmitted through the respiratory system. Once the cavity embalming is complete, we then close our incisions, give the body another thorough bath, and then shroud the body in a white cotton sheet. When it comes time for the viewing, visitation, or funeral, normally the day before, we will dress the person, apply cosmetics, do their hair, and place the person in the casket the family has chosen. Some call it science, some call it art. To me, it's a bit of both. We do have to have a solid base in human anatomy and some chemistry so that we understand that we are treating each body as it needs to be treated so that the family can have a positive viewing experience. Now, the embalming process is not exclusive to those who choose burial. As a funeral professional, I would say that if a family wanted to have a viewing, whether it be private or public, that embalming would likely produce a more natural resting appearance for your loved one. Ultimately, whether a viewing is public or private, whether your family chooses burial or cremation, embalming is your decision. In our next video, we'll cover in more detail hair and cosmetics for your loved one.